recording? A unit fraction is a piece of a fraction, right? I thought a unit fraction. It always has a one in the numerator, basically. Okay, so if I had three fifths, what is a unit fraction? What is the unit fraction of three fifths? I'm waiting. Unit fraction is. I don't want you to say it out loud, please. What is the unit fraction of three fifths? As I do know. Just one? No. One fifth, good. All right, so a unit fraction of three fifths will be one fifth. All right, how about a multiple? Who can tell me what a multiple is? What is a multiple? Um, Levi. Um, a multiple is uh, like. party, there was five sticks of a pizza left. Roberta put each of the leftover slices in its own freezer bag. How many bags did she use? What part of a pizza did she put in each bag? So I have five sticks. The only thing that matters out of that whole problem is that there's five sticks left, right? And she needs to put one piece in each bag. And we need to figure out how many pieces, how many bags she needs, right? So what is one piece of five six? So unit fraction. What is one piece of five six? Show me on your whiteboard. What is one piece of five six? Hold on, don't show me yet. I'll call for it. I want to know what is one piece of five six. Okay, show me in three. It doesn't take long to write a fraction. Two. One. Brantley, one piece of five six is three six. What is it? Okay, it's a unit fraction. So one piece of five six is just one six. One six. Plus one six. Plus how many times am I going to plus? Six. Five. Five. Okay, let's. Five. Which one is it? Is it five, five or six? Five. Why? Five. Who can tell me? Five is the yeah, the five is the numerator. Okay, so how many bags am I going to need? One, six, three, five. Five. Okay. 
So that's how you figure out how many bags I'm going to need. Now, if this was a multiplication problem, how could I write this as a multiplication problem, right? Because repeated addition is just multiplication. So how do I write this as a multiplication problem, John Luca? Um, five times one. Five times one, like this? Oh, no, five, six times one, two? Nope. <gasps> oh! Wait, 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 wait. Malia? One, six times five. Good. So uh, there's five of them here, and the number is one, six. So it's five times one, oh, six. Oh, it's just like uh, the tricky part, like, the last, um, the last second, uh, hmm. times, and the last second, instead of the first. Nope. It's, it's not uh, improper fractions to make fractions. Okay, so this is a whole number times a fraction. That's what we're going to be working on in, in this uh, chapter. Whole numbers times fractions. Okay? So we went, we moved on from adding and subtracting, so now we're going to do multiplying and eventually dividing. Well, wouldn't that be five, six, and five, and five, five times one? one, 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 one right? We just broke down five, six to, to repeated addition, brought it back around to multiplication, bring it back around to an answer. But we're not getting there. This one. We're just dealing with unit fractions on this one. All right. Um, the product of a number and counting number is the multiple of a number. Okay, so we've learned about multiples. So taking a look at page 330. If you look at the one-fourth squares, okay, the first one looks like this, and they're divided into fourths, right? Each one of these is one-fourth. Okay, and I'm going to shade in one-fourth in this box and one-fourth in this box, okay? This doesn't change, one-fourth. Well, what is my multiplication problem on now? Just looking at the models, what is my multiplication problem? Terry? Just Okay, so I'm going to times how many? Two. Two. Two times whatever's in the box, which is one-fourth. Okay? Two times one-fourth is? Okay. Um, so same thing goes for looking at this the second one. It's got three of those boxes colored in. So what would my multiplication equation be? Three, two. Please do not say out loud. Especially when you are incorrect. Come on, Dragon. Um, three times one. Good. Three times one fourth, which is the same as one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, which is the same as three fourths. Yes. In the top box, that one right here, one fifth to one fourth. Everything's one fourth. Sorry, I'm writing fast. That's what I thought it was, but I was like, it's a fourth. Okay, how about the next one? I've got four of them colored in. Isabel, what's my multiplication sentence going to be then? Look at page 330. There's four of them colored in. It's really hard to teach you when you guys aren't even on the right page and not paying attention to me. Okay, so there's four of them colored in, right? You see it now? Okay, what is my multiplication sentence? No, no, that's not what I'm asking. The answer is correct, but that's not what I'm asking. What's my multiplication sentence? Uh huh. Okay, yes, but what's my multiplication sentence? Times. How many are colored in? Four. Okay, so four times one fourth is the same as, Isabel, you were starting to say it. One fourth plus. plus how many times? Good. And that equals? 
Which is the same as Okay, and the last one. How many are colored in? Zero. No. I see pink. I see pink ones colored. What? On this last one right here. Just because it's not the same color doesn't mean it's not colored in. Oh, it's not colored in. I'm sorry. Uh, mine is colored in. My bad. I think we're supposed to make our own. Uh, five of them. We're supposed to color five in. No, I'm telling you, five. That's what mine is colored in. And then what would my multiplication sentence be if I colored five boxes in, Bailey? Um, which is the same as one fourth plus one fourth. How many times? Good. Which equals five fourths. Good. All right. So one thing, if you guys have not figured it out yet. If you have a whole number times a fraction, you're just timesing the top numbers. Bottom number stays the same. So you'll get used to seeing this. Whenever you have a whole number, put it over 1 so it makes an equal fraction. And you times across. 5 times 1 is? And the bottom stays the same, right? Okay. That's multiplication for whole numbers times fractions. So it doesn't matter what fraction you have. If I had 3 times... Um, Three fourths. Okay, three times three fourths is going to look like this. Three over one. So three times three is. Three times three is. Over. Easy peasy, right? Okay. Um, number lines. I will show you tomorrow because you won't even need them for today. So I'll show you how to do multiples on number lines, but if you can remember how to do a multiple of this, what is my multiple of two? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Twelve. How about my multiples of three?